Hello and welcome to our video tutorial. With this lesson, you will be able to customize your FlySeep soft switch for the first time. So let's start. Log in using the data that you have received in the letter. After logging in, you will see a page with the call history, CDRs, and the left hand navigation menu. Please proceed to the main parameters of a user where you can change your password, select the time zone, and the base currency. The first step in tuning is to create a new vendor. We do this by going to the menu item Routing and clicking on the link Vendors. To create a new vendor, click on the Add button. Let's call it Test Vendor. Click Save. The next step is to add compounds to the vendor. Click on Connections and press Add to add a new connection. We call it the Connection 1. The field IP hostname contains the IP address or domain name of your vendor on which soft switch will send calls. You can add an optional prefix for the vendor in this field CLD translation rules, rules for converting numbers, add a rule. Thus, four zeros will be added to the number before sending. In this case, the prefix is not needed. All other settings remain unchanged. One vendor may have several different IP connections and prefixes. Now we need to create a tariff plan for our vendor termination rates. Go to the section Termination Rates to Add button to create a new tariff. Give a name to your rate, such as Vendor Rates and Save. Next step is Routes Adding. Click Routes button. You can create routes in two ways by adding one via the web interface or download the Excel or CSV file. In this video tutorial, we will add several routes manually by clicking the button Add. We notice the operator code. In our example, it's the prefix US1855 and costs 10 cents per minute. Click the button Save. Then we see that the new route was established and that the system has determined the route correctly. The next step is to create a routing group. Let's proceed to routing groups. Let's call this group Routing Group 1. You can select different routing rules. In our case, we choose the sorting rule List Cost Route for the price of termination rates. Less price is the more preferable. Next, we need to add an entry in the root sheet. We will use Vendor Connection and Termination Rates, which we have already created. Click the Save button. And so, we have created the Vendor, the Connection, Termination Rates and the Routing Group. Now, proceed to configure clients for incoming traffic. First, we will create a tariff. It's like creating a root termination rates except that the fares will be for your customers. In the section Tariffs and Currencies, click on Rates menu Tariffs. Click Add button. We call our new tariff Tariff 1. Click the Save button. Now you can add prefixes and prices. Click Rates. Just as we created a path of vendor termination rates, enter 1855 in the prefix field and enter the price that you will put your customers for a given direction. Once the rate has been established, we need to create tariff plans. To create a new tariff plan, go to the section Tariff Plans. Then click the button Add. We need to give our tariff plan name, call it Tariff Plan 1. We need to choose the tariff that we have created. We can also choose billing cycle, the interval for the invoice to the client you can charge for service charges on the basis of the payment cycle and free minutes. In this video tutorial, we will not go further to leave the setup process more accessible and easy. Click Save. Now that we have a tariff plan and assigned to it the tariff, we can create an account. In the menu, open the section My Customers and click on the Accounts item. To create one account manually, click the button Add. Create a new account with the username TestCall 
and password test call 123 for authentication by login and password. We need to select a routing group and a tariff plan available for this account. We will use a routing group and a tariff plan that we created earlier in this video. You can specify the balance or credit limit. Let's notice credit limit of 100 and 10 for max session. This is the number of channels for this account. The other parameters remain unchanged. Click Save. Now we can add the authentication rule for this account. Click on the Action menu and then click on Authentication Rules. To create a new rule, click on Add, select Protocol, indicate IP addresses for incoming calls, you can optionally specify a prefix and a technical rule to remove the prefix. In our example, all calls IP address is 10.10.10.10 and with the number that begins with four zeros on the ground will pass through our account. You can add multiple rules for a single account. Basic setup of soft switch is complete. Now let's check our settings. To do this, go to Tools and Debugs menu, Section Test Dial Plan. Select our account and enter the number and click Update. As a result, we will see how our call will be routed. Now check the configuration by real call. To do this, download the Softphone Linphone. It's a free soft phone for all platforms. Once installed, run it, select the item, then we already have a SIP account. Click Next and introduce VoIP login, VoIP password and domain name of our server and click Save. Let's turn back to the soft switch and we see a green circle next to our account. It means that the registration is successful. We can now make a test call. Open your soft phone and type test number and see what we get called. We can check our call in active calls. After the call, information about it will appear in the CDR statistics. This basic setup of soft switch is complete. We are pleased that you have chosen our solutions for your business and will be happy to help you if you have any questions. Contact us at support at flysip.com and visit our support portal at http supportflysipcom to find more useful information. Thank you for your attention.